Okay, setting you down right there. What's up? Welcome to this video. I am running around like a chicken with its head cut off today and I had all these dreams of starting this vlog off aesthetically, some b-roll clips, all the things, but we're jumping right in. We're just getting after it because we have to use the time that we have. When we have childcare, we gotta make every second count. This is going to be another weekend in my life. I have been loving starting these vlogs off on Fridays when I'm by myself working because I can capture and share with you guys what I'm up to and it's not as chaotic. <laughs> and then the rest of the weekend, we'll have family time. So I just put myself together very quickly. I wanted to feel good today. I need to get a lot done, film a lot of content because I am going to spend the day thrifting. I'm trying to be more creative with how I share that because if you saw my last video, a lot of you want to see more thrift content and how I'm operating my thrift bundle business and all of that. And so I actually completed all of my bundles for this week. I'm pausing before I start next week's bundles, but I am looking to refresh my spring wardrobe. I have not bought myself new clothes or even really thrifted for myself intentionally in a very long time. Everything I've brought into my closet I end up using for thrift bundles. I just haven't really brought much into my closet lately honestly within the last year. So I created a mood board for myself that I wanted to use as inspiration to thrift myself a spring and summer wardrobe. And I just need some staple pieces. So I am going to go all around Boston today and share on YouTube and on TikTok, maybe even Instagram reels, just like some of my favorite finds in the Boston area. A lot of them are Goodwill and Savers and things that you can still check out in your areas, even if you're not from New England. But I think this will be fun. I wanna share some tips and tricks on what I find and how I source certain things because as a reminder if you're looking to refresh your spring wardrobe you don't need to spend a million dollars shopping at all of these places we're told on social media we need to buy from and buy all these items that are so overpriced and the quality is so bad like thrifting is a great option so with spring coming I thought this could be a fun way to start this video I feel like my hair looks insane I got ready in five minutes but I thrifted this blazer in the men's section at I think Salvation Army it's such good quality super oversized have my cutesy little converse on some linen pants I just wanted to throw a fit today you know okay so sneak peek of something that I'm trying to do right now before I head out is just kind of similarly with me looking to refresh my spring wardrobe I'm also trying to do the same for the girls they've been the same size in clothing for like six months now, I would say. And so they're kind of still in the same size, but I don't have anything for the warm weather months. Everything's just been like sweaters and clothing that's a little bit thicker for winter in New England and all of that. And so my goal is to thrift majority of the girls' clothes. I've always said that. However, I apps, I'm a mom. I like cute things for my kids. I'm definitely going to buy them clothing and get clothes from kids stores. I feel like for me, I was a sad beige mom for a while. Like I just wanted them to be in cutesy, like delicate printed clothing and light colors. And quite honestly, that's not their personality. Like they're vibrant and they're eclectic and they're fun. And honestly, I like bright, crazy clothing. So what am I doing putting them in these just minimal outfits? It's not the vibe. So I recently found this brand and this is not sponsored, but I am obsessed with them. And I wanna do a little haul and show you the pieces that I got. The brand is called Minioli and they sent me a good amount of clothes for the girls. And I'm so grateful for that. I just love them so much. And I wanted to show you because you all told me that you're interested in seeing where I'm getting the girls clothes from. Again, not sponsored, but I do have a discount code for 20% off, which is really good because the prices are pretty fair that I'll have on the screen and down below. So as I'm trying to refresh their wardrobe and put clothes away in storage that no longer fit them or are for the winter time, I wanted to share this little product that I've been using since the girls were born. And it is this. It's this big storage canvas. It's not canvas. It's like a plastic storage bag, but it's really nice material. And I like that it kind of creates its own shape. So wherever I put this, it's not like a box that I need to find a perfect spot for. I have a closet in our basement that has five of these and I continue to just add the girls clothes into them as they grow out of clothing. I mean, I've donated a ton of stuff, but if we have more children, I want to keep a lot on hand. I'm going to link this on my Amazon storefront. It's my favorite way to store. I don't fold anything. I wash all the items and just toss them right in here because when I'm ready to donate them or my next kid will be wearing them, you just throw the kids clothes in the wash and 
they're not going to be wrinkled. It's fine. It's just easier on my mind to not have to perfectly store all the items. And I literally just take a big bag and I throw everything in and the girls no longer need it. And I found this to be a great way of storing clothing. So let's get into this little haul. I'm so excited about it. Clothes are so cute. The girls are going to wear some of these outfits this weekend. So you'll see them. First are these pants with this flower detail all over them. I cuffed them up because the girls are so petite, but I think they're so amazing. Stretch waist, which I love. And that wide leg that is just in right now. It's fun. This with a pair of sneakers. I am just obsessed. Obviously got two. I have always been someone that likes to pair together funky, crazy patterns. I love clothing that doesn't really make sense, but it does. And so I just want to start putting the girls in outfits like that because it feels like that's their personality and it's certainly mine. So I got these like long sleeve tees in stripe detail. I got two of each one. So they could just wear like two of this style and be super matching, but I love when they're in outfits that are same but different. So I would literally pair this together. Like I think that is so cute, so quirky. Outfits are supposed to be fun. And Minioli has a lot of awesome pieces that allow you to just have fun with your kids' clothes and it's really good quality. And I am so into graphic tees for the girls. My uniform of life would be a graphic tee and a pair of jeans so I got these two same thing same but different they're so adorable gals love like little mice right now and there's a bus on there it's just so up their alley I'm pretty sure this print is the same thing just in a different color and then I love just basics so this is just a stack of really high quality basic t-shirts and like little tanks and like neutral colors and then a few items are a little bit more like delicate and gentle in style and still so sweet like I do love them in cutesy sweet outfits also. I don't think you have to have one style for all of your kids clothes. But I think this is adorable with a pair of jeans. I got them cheetah flats for Easter that you probably saw and I think this with jeans and little cheetah flats. So cute. Got the same one in a little bit of a different shade. And lastly I got three different sets of like a matching sweat set. I love a matching set and it's so easy to grab and go and they have really good ones on their website. So it's this waffle material and this floral print so cute and it comes with this matching top that's like a quarter zip obviously adorable together can be worn separate it's just perfection and they're sold together which I really like because I think you save money sometimes brands have a matching set but you have to pay separately and you spend an arm and a leg so got two of those of course and then this might be my favorite I got these little smiley sweatsuits in two different colors this purple color as well. This is what I'm talking about, just fun, adorable, loud outfits that are just so quirky and wonderful. And then lastly, how <laughs> cute, just so adorable. And I got two of these. So I'm going to organize all of this. I don't think I'm gonna vlog actually organizing right now because I just really need to get my bearings straight and I don't have a good piece of advice to tell you for toddler organizing right now as far as how you do it because pretty much I just like throw things in a drawer and call it a day and I think that's okay. I know there's so many aesthetic videos out there on how to perfectly organize everything. For me, it's just what is your flow in the morning when you're dressing them? What is your flow at the end of the night? Put things in a place where you can grab and go. Of course you want them to be stored in a way that they won't wrinkle or become damaged like hang your items on hangers if you can if you have the space roll them instead of fold them so they don't wrinkle like things like that as long as your items go with your flow then you're organized in my opinion so anyways i'm going to get after this and then we're going to head out and i will vlog as the day continues and i thrift all around boston made it to boston specifically cambridge actually i'm looking at the most beautiful mural right in front of me it's so wild i'm in the exact same like small lot in central cambridge that i parked at when i was pregnant and did my whole thrifting boston video it feels like yesterday so crazy the way time works but anyway I can't believe I haven't done like a thrift Boston with me video in so long and that's not going to be all of what this video is but it will be some of it. I'm going to hit Goodwill first. So I came to the Goodwill in Cambridge. It's a really good one. The one in Roxbury is really good too on Harrison Ave. I think that's the one that has the bins that I still haven't checked out but if you have time and patience to go through bins at a Goodwill near you it's so worth it because you can find such good quality items for so cheap. But as I mentioned I'm thrifting for my spring wardrobe. I do need a good amount of things. I don't have that much. Not that I need a ton of items, but I want a lot of staples and I'm going to show you my Pinterest board right now that I have been putting together over the last few weeks. You can kind of see what we're working with here. 
lots of different colors, funky prints. I want high quality, durable items. Like I wouldn't mind some wide leg jeans, like just some statement denim, some cool pants, different colored cardigans to layer. I have a lot of vests on here too and all of that. So that, my friend, is what we're working with. So let's go get after it. I didn't mention this also, but when I'm doing like big hauls for my bundles and like now for myself, I always like to start at the more cost effective thrift stores like Goodwill, Savers. You're going to save more money. You're going to have to really take time to look for pieces because there's so much and there is a lot of junk or low quality items, but you can find a lot for, you know, a great number and you're not going to break your bank. But I'm also going to check out some places around Cambridge and Boston that are, you know, more higher end thrift stores where there's definitely going to be really great items. I'll probably pay a little bit more, but if I start at Goodwill, I'll feel better better about spending money at those stores later on. So let's go get after it. home and I am so happy with how today went I cannot even tell you I just thrifted an entire spring wardrobe at least majority of it for $100 $100 flat it actually was a little bit less than that but I rounded up to donate <laughs> at Goodwill. So I spent $80 at Goodwill and exactly $20 at Boomerangs in Cambridge. I didn't need to go anywhere else. I was going to go to Garment District. I've thrifted there before and shown that on here, but I didn't even need to go because I felt so good and I really didn't want to spend more than $100 today. And I got so much. I literally checked out of Goodwill and the woman was like, you'd say good girl. It's always good when the cashier compliments you. All right, let's just dump it out. So I can go through this fairly quickly. I'm just over the moon. I feel so good and so excited to just refresh and go into spring. I'm owning my style. I'm not trying to look like anyone else. I'm just trying to wear things that make me so excited. And every piece I picked up today, I envisioned an outfit with clothes that I already have in my closet or clothes that I thrifted today. I didn't just like get something and hope I could style it. Like I really wanted to make sure. I could put an outfit together with a piece so that it would be worth it. So to start with just denim, I wanted a denim skirt and this one is really cute. I like the wash of it. It's pretty worn in, which I actually like. It's definitely a good quality jean and has a soft material to it. I actually thrifted a light wash denim jean jacket a few weeks ago that I love and I find myself always going to grab it and I'm like, oh, I don't want to wear it too much, which is so silly. Sometimes I just do that with pieces. I don't want to overwear them. I was like, why don't I just get another jean jacket? I clearly like that and I'll just get it in a different wash. And I found this one. It's a hooded jean jacket. That's like this boxy oversized material. Looks so good. I could dress this up or down, honestly. I think it's really good. Denim shorts, as you saw on my Pinterest board, I wanted more long form and style denim shorts. So I love these. I think they're the perfect length and will look good with a lot. And I really wanted a funky printed pant. That was a goal for me today. And I made it happen. I think these are so sick. Paired with a basic white t-shirt and some bright colored sneakers. I envision a lot for those. One more piece of denim from Goodwill. This is all Goodwill. I'll show you a few items that I got from Boomerangs in a moment, but mostly everything was Goodwill. I just picked up these jeans. I think they're really great quality. I like the straight leg of them. I think I'll get a lot of wear and I like the single rip. I have other dark wash jeans that have no rips. One has like a ton of rips in it and I just thought this was the perfect like middle ground with just the one. So I really want to just like funky statement pieces that I would wear often and stripes I was constantly gravitated towards on my Pinterest board and in person so I absolutely love this navy and white striped sweater I can really envision a lot for this I picture this paired with a bright colored pant linen shorts all the things I found these 100% linen red pants that I am obsessed with gorgeous 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 I'm going to wear these so often stretchy waist which we love they might be a little long on me but but they were $7 and I can get them tailored for a few bucks more and it's so worth it for 100% linen. Like you cannot beat that. And I really wanted to find some button front cardigans. I think they style so cute. There was even this girl in the thrift store that had the cutest outfit on. It was like this chunky button front cardigan. She had it worn open over a t-shirt with these 
wide leg pants. She was so cool. And I genuinely find my inspiration from people that I see on the streets, not just online and on social media. Like I want functional outfits. I want to see what you're wearing when you're perusing Goodwill, you know? I think this is so sick. I like that it's a crochet knit material. It's super lightweight. There's eyelets throughout. So very breezy, perfect for summer, worn over the shoulder, worn open, closed. I think that it's just a really cool, unique striped pattern. And what else? Then I picked up this skirt that I think is so cool and this with my gray adidas and like a chunky bright crew neck or some sort of a sweater over it I think it's so cool and it just is that eclectic grandpa cottage core I don't even know what to call the style that I just love but something like this is exactly what I'm drawn to when I'm thrifting for myself or just trying to bring pieces into my wardrobe oh and then a pair of linen shorts some white linen shorts that I think will be a basic staple throughout the spring and summer. And I'll also say that it's hard to see on camera how great the quality is of these pieces because I still need to wash them, iron them, all the things. But like, I could not believe this Max Studio sweater was still in there and no one had scooped it up. It's stunning. It's super, super great material. It's definitely an expensive piece. And I am going to wear this all the time as a layer over my shoulders. Everyone needs a good quality striped sweater like this in their wardrobe. And then this I think I'm the most excited about from today. I saw it and it's vintage for sure. It is stunning to me. I absolutely love this. I would wear this closed like this, tucked into just some denim, jean shorts, jean pants, culottes, whatever. I would wear this with a pair of cheetah pants. I'm loving cheetah right now. I'm constantly eyeing cheetah while I'm out and about. And I love this print. It's kind of like a darker, minimal cheetah. And I think it's adorable. It's just this flowy little dress. I would literally wear this sweater over it. Like I personally think that looks so good. I would pair this with a pair of red sneakers with ballet flats, chunky boots. It's just like a cool outfit. And I like cool outfits. So lastly from Savers, just this super light weight striped tee. I picture this tucked into jean shorts, colorful pant. Again, like just basics that I can grab worn under a cardigan on its own. I love stripes and I think they're a really, really fun way to make your outfit interesting. That was exactly $80 at Goodwill in Boston. And then I just got three items from Boomerangs and the first I'm so excited about. Again, with jackets. I feel like in New England, it's springtime, but we're going to be wearing jackets for the next few months. It's the super oversized ivory kind Kind of unique with the detail here jean jacket and i think it's sick it's so my style so something i would grab and wear constantly i'm so excited about that for ten dollars perfect condition and last two items these zara shorts eight dollars <laughs> stretchy waist i'm obsessed these need a good iron and steam and all of that but the quality is incredible and they're that long form short that i'm really looking for and i picked up this tee that i think is so cute i'm seeing everyone get like cool striped t-shirts and long sleeves on amazon you do not have to go to amazon go to your thrift store you'll find sick striped t-shirts i even would pair these two items together even underneath this denim jacket like got myself a full outfit at boomerangs for 20 bucks so i'll leave you with that that was my thrift venture of the day and i'm feeling so good so as a reminder thrift check out your local thrift stores or submit a request at the link in my bio so i can thrift a bundle for you i'm feeling so good so energized thrifting can be exhausting but it also is so exciting and I feel so proud of myself for shopping in this way and for curating a wardrobe it doesn't break my bank and also makes me so excited like these are all such unique pieces I didn't just see an outfit online and go and buy that exact outfit I I love thrifting in this way and and so hopefully it inspires you check out your local thrift stores for sure it can be overwhelming at first to get into thrifting but once you do it's like good morning yeah. Are we sleepy? Yes. Is this your pillow? Yeah. Do we want to yes. see the sun? Yes. Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. You have your pillows? Yeah. Yeah. Pancakes. Pancakes? pancakes. We're going to have blueberry pancakes. Oh. Good morning. 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 Oh, we're gonna do Super Frog. Yeah. You wanna get pancakes? Yeah. Wow! Wanna come up? Wow! Can you show me how you unbuckle? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, how do you yeah. do it? Get it up. Clean it. Water! Water! You're drinking water. Good job. It's gonna help you get hydrated. Are we gonna see the seals today? Oh, 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 oh. Granny, can you show me your fishy face? 
Good morning. Dada mama. Dada mama. Show me your fishy face. <laughs> what does a seal say? Oh, oh, oh. Or, 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 or. Yeah. How do you waddle like a penguin? <laughs> Are we gonna go to the aquarium today? Yeah. Are they gonna be mermaids in the tank? Uh, yeah. <gasps> When you're bigger, you'll call them scuba divers. But for now, they're mermaids. They can always no. be mermaids. 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 Can you open the basement door for me? Love, love. love to do that. Thank you so Mommy. much. Our delivery man. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Daddy always delivers. Bye-bye. Dada is loading up the car. He's loading up the car so that we can have a fun day. Hey, mommy, have a big kiss. I love you. Hug. hug. I would love a hug. Hug. Dada. Yeah, Dada will give you a hug when he comes back. I love Pink. you. Pinky. Right here. You do it. Daddy. Good job, Renny. Good job. Yes, I know, Daddy. Yep, I'm going to help you. Right there. Good job. Good job! You did it! Okay. Close it! We did it! Hands up! Hooray! 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 Hooray. Good boy! Good boy! Ducky! Ducky! Clean up! Clean up! Are you dusting? You gotta clean lovey? We're gonna use your climbing gym, okay? And then we're gonna wait. 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 You wanna go up there? Alright, well daddy has to build it first, boom butts. Climb up. Troublemaker. Go. Are you talking to Mama on the phone? Mama! 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 Clapping! Clapping! Mama! Yes, baby. Hi! Hi! What color is it? Touch it! You want to touch it? Yeah! Okay. <gasps> now it's purple. Hi, babe. What color is it? Two, three. Touch it. Oh, touch it. Whoa. Yay. This is a chaotic way. See? <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Eyes are burning. <laughs> We're jamming to two friends today. What are they considered? They're, they're DJs, right? Yeah. Like, they make mixes, and they have a ton of songs with artists, but we're going to see them in Boston in, like, two weeks. Yeah. So, we're getting our jam sessions in. Wow, it's already in two weeks. It's it, yeah. When did it become April? A happy... Yeah. Happy... <laughs> happy Saturday. We are off to the aquarium to go meet up with our friends. We have a good crew going. We do, we do, we do. We have our two friends, Tay and Ryan, and their big case, and then my girlfriend Alyssa, her boyfriend Sean, have been dying to go to the aquarium, and they're just using us as vessels to get there. <laughs> because we're like, we take the girls all the time. We can make it a whole adventure. Now we're up and out. It is significantly. <laughs> See ya. Hold on tight, everybody. <laughs> I love this song. Tis a bomb. Um, like that song, More Than Yesterday, with Russell Dickerson and two friends. Really good. What would you do if Russell Dickerson made an appearance at the Boston show? Oh, I would lose my mind. I love Russell Dickerson. He is the artist. 
Oh it's so slippy up there. <laughs> the vlogmobile is not vlogmobiling today. Russell Dickerson sings our wedding song, so special place in my heart. That's right. Yeah. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. It's significantly harder to get out of the house these days. The girls are just like... They got a mind of their own. Carry it's me, fun. walk. And they want to, like, do everything. Even... I mean, it's just such typical toddler things, and we're learning. Like, you hear about it, but you don't know till you're in it. And even, like, Sienna this morning, mm -hmm. we were, she was done with breakfast. She did not want to give up her plate. Okay, you don't have to give us your plate. You can bring it over and put it in the dishwasher yourself or whatever. They're learning, like, what's mine. They're learning sharing. Yeah. And, like, that was her plate. She didn't want to give it up. Yep, you know? and I think it's cool because I saw something here just in the research that I do as I'm always trying to soak up as much information as possible. I know that as parents, I feel like we're so prone to, like, encourage our kids to share, but... I was reading something and it was like well I don't I have things in my life that I don't always want to share like why do I always have to tell my kid yep okay give that kid your blocks because they want it it's like no some things it's okay to level set with them and be like okay you don't want to share that right now what can we do about it or you don't want to give me that plate right now how can we get through that you don't have to give me that plate yeah that makes sense so I'm trying to navigate that I feel like. yeah and it's like with the twin things Sharing sometimes results in just taking from the other, so it's like <laughs> sometimes we all the time gotta ask them sometimes, like, when do you want to share that? Yeah, and they say no, they say no. Yeah, a loophole to that that we use is switch. So, switch is awesome. <laughs> I don't know when we came up with that, but it helps so much if you're a twin parent. If one of your children has something and the other one wants it or just steals it to the child that got their item stolen from them, I'm like, oh, it's like. Sienna's just switching with you. Now you can have something that was in her hand. I don't even know. It's different every time, but it works. <laughs> so chugging my coffee. I'm really excited. This Good is going to be great. Good idea. We're going to try to grab like coffee slash lunch as we're drinking coffee. <laughs> Always the next cup of coffee. Yeah. We're going to try. There's a little cafe outside of the aquarium. We're going to try to grab lunch in after. But okay, I guess this car We're on the windiest <laughs> road <laughs> and we're trying to rip the vlog. <laughs> It's not I working. feel like you have done it here though. Like, I don't yes, know. I've vlogged so many times on this road. Maybe you like stuck it in the corner? No, it's been here before, baby. Yeah. Beep, beep. Beep. Oh, beep, beep. Beep, beep. If daddy beeps, people will get upset. <laughs> We're on the Tobin now. Good old Toby. So pretty. I'll share it with you. So we can go over the water. Yeah. <laughs> Makes perfectly good sense, huh? <laughs> Where are the penguins? Hayes is probably like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a dog. Oh my god. Is it jumping? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Hey, come here. Yes, that, that's cool. What? <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm laughing. I think I still have sleep lines on my face. I just woke up from a little midday nap and I think I'm still a little delirious. I had all these intentions of folding laundry, getting a few things organized, and I was just wiped out from the morning. I did not get much sleep last night. Just couldn't sleep, so I napped. Right here, this is where it all happened, hence the pillow. <laughs> the girls get up from their nap in like 20 minutes, so I needed a little caffeine, obviously. Lollipop cherry cola. <laughs> the sweet, sweet sounds of bubbles. But before the girls do get up, I do want to take some time to journal, and I am holding something so incredibly special to me. I can't even tell you. I shared this on my Instagram story this week because it's truly one of the most thoughtful, beautiful, lovely, wonderful, magical gifts I've ever received in my whole life. And it's from a fellow twin mother who found me on YouTube and wanted to gift me a handmade journal. And not only did she gift me a journal, she also gifted the girls two journals. And I'm going to show you the beauty of this item in a moment. I am going to have her Instagram on the screen and down below. I cannot recommend her work enough. If you want to gift someone or gift yourself something so special, this is such a great option. I'll get closer so you can really see the magic, but it's handmade. It is so incredibly gorgeous and just vintage and you can just tell that all of these pieces have traveled through time. When you open filled with the most thoughtful 
paper goods and vintage and antique pieces this is a postcard which is space to write and the style of journals she creates are just creative journals so it's not like you open and every page has blank paper it's meant to be a place for you to just open up a page and write down a journal this first blank page is probably where i'll begin on the back of this postcard and i'll just slip it back in and that'll be page one and there's just room for you to feel inspired and to write throughout the journals all throughout it. So incredibly beautiful and thoughtfully done. Every page is a surprise and there's something new and unexpected. And I mean, just the fact that she put this together, for me, it took her weeks and weeks. I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful. I have been emotional all week over it, honestly. I feel like today's the first time I'm holding it and not crying <laughs> because it's just one of the most beautiful things I've ever been gifted. There's like music pages and this is one of my favorites right here it's this antique like vintage photo of these two little girls it just makes me feel so nostalgic and cared about like she put this together just based off what she knows about me from what i've shared on youtube and this postcard of paris and it's been filled out like if someone sent this and it's old you can tell the edges but how special is that like it's a true postcard from paris it like takes my breath away every time I think it's so stunning. I just needed to share this with you because I think it's worthy of your interest and it's worthy of your time to look into her work. It's just magical and not everyone offers things like this. So I also love this little swan photo. If you all remember when I was pregnant, I don't even know if I shared this actually. When I was pregnant, there was this mother swan that had her ducklings always following her around in this water reservoir near us where we used to live during that time. And I loved watching the swan every day as we would drive by and go to all of our doctor's appointments and it was just so special to me like swans have such a special meaning to me because of that and i don't even know if i shared that on here but everything is just so beautiful she also gave me a box with a ton of paper goods to creatively journal myself and and put together pages like this on my own if i wanted to and i'm just at a loss for words still this last one like oh uh. It's just stunning it's it's so stunning i had to share it with you i'm keeping this by my bedside it is just something that i'm going to cherish for the rest of my life and same with the girls i can't wait for them to have their first journal this will absolutely be their first journal i'll show you those in a moment when we go and get the girls but excited to continue this writing journey for myself and i just haven't felt inspired to really journal my experience right now through motherhood i capture so much on youtube and i consider this my journal and i always will but this is this is something special and different and I'm excited about it. And as I put my journal down, you guys, while we're here, while we're chatting, I finished Akatar the last night and I have so many thoughts, okay? It's so funny because I texted my girlfriends like three nights ago and I was like 190 pages in and I texted them and I was like, you guys, am I broken? Because I'm bored. I've never heard of anyone saying something bad about this book and I was like, I don't like it. What's going on? And they were like, what part are you at? And I told them and they were like, just wait. And truly like two pages later, I was hooked and I finished it in two days from that point. So finished last night. I could not put it down. It was all I was thinking about, very similar to the Empyrean series, which I'm grateful for because I was nervous I wouldn't be able to get hooked into something like I was that series so oh my god I started the next book immediately last night but it was so late so I for sure should have not done that but I loved it and I have been really trying to avoid any spoilers or avoid hearing anybody's thoughts on the book because I didn't want to spoil anything for me but I don't know if this is controversial, but I'm very team Tamlin. I don't know if it's just my girlfriends that are very team Rizand, Riss, whatever, because he's like bad boy energy, obviously. Who doesn't love that? But I love Tammy boy. I think that he's just so in love with Feyre and protects her and has like made his case that he's just like the one and Riss kind of aggravates me and like gets Feyre drunk and twirls her around 
doesn't really feel like love, but I've heard that something brews out of that. So who knows? Maybe I'm just a sucker for a secure, non-toxic man. I, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see where the next book goes. But honestly, no notes. Incredible book. I think the beginning, we could have like skipped a few details maybe and cut to the chase. Granted, I knew it was like a smut book and that it was supposed to get good and interesting and it just was taking too long. <laughs> Coming off the heels of reading the Empyrean series where I was so enthralled, I just wanted it to get there quicker but I know that happens with a lot of these books because you need to really understand the context and they need to build the case for the story so I get it. I'm trying to think if I had anything else really really interesting to see when she goes to visit Riss one week out of every month that doesn't seem like a recipe for success for her and Tamlin. I'll let you know how I feel as I continue A Court of Mist and Fury. But let me know your thoughts on this book down below or DM me so we can chat. Also it kind of frustrated me how no one keeps their word like Favor's just like taking everybody's bargains and deals and making promises with people. Even Amarantha claiming, oh yeah, I'll let you all go free if you complete all these three tasks. And then she's like, yeah, but I'm just gonna kill you because you'll technically be free if you're dead. We did. We went through all this. Favor went through all these tasks just for you to be like, joke's on you. Also didn't love the, the whole like stabbing those innocent fairies in the hearts thing. It's kind of my least favorite part of the book, not gonna lie. Favorite had no choice, but low-key, like, someone's sister, dude, you know? And poor old Claire Bador, that was her last name. The second that she said her name was Claire and I read that in the book, I was like, you just killed that girl. Obviously, Amaranth is not gonna let you live. I know a lot of people were annoyed at Violet in the Empyrean series, but Feyre really, some of the things she does, I'm like... <laughs> That's the point. Our characters are supposed to be flawed and we're supposed to be frustrated with them and that's what makes it so good. So stay tuned for the next book review. It is bigger so it may take me a little bit longer but we'll get there. Last thing while we're chatting, I love just hanging with you guys. So many of you message me and you're like, I feel like I'm just in the trenches of motherhood and I don't have time to sit down and chat with my friends so I watch your videos just to like chit chat because that is something that is kind of taken from us a little bit when we become parents. Like even this morning, I went to the aquarium with my friends and it was so fun. I did not even recap that because it was just a whirlwind crazy morning. We were so tired by the time we got home. And it actually was so fun. Everything about it, I have no complaints. We were able to run around the aquarium. We went to a little coffee shop after so that the girls could have lunch, but it's very hard to have conversation and catch up with your friends and just engage in chit chat and gossip and the things that we love to do to connect with other people. It was so wonderful being out with them, but it just is what it is that it's very hard to like fully submerge yourself in like conversation with your friends and whatever. But all in all, good morning besides the point. What I was getting at is that this is a great opportunity for you to get some FaceTime with someone else going through what you're going through and we're just chit chatting. So while we're chit chatting, I wanted to also mention something. So someone reached out to me on Instagram and was like, hey, I know that sometimes you shout out small businesses, which as a reminder, I always love to do as long as they align with my values, that whole spiel. But this is a platform where I'm so happy to share small businesses and offerings just to help you get your business and brand and voice out there. So this woman, I'm just looking at my phone to make sure that I speak correctly. So she is a therapist out of Colorado, but she takes Colorado and Massachusetts clients. So the name of her company I'll have on the screen and down below is called Where Flowers Bloom Counseling. And she is a fellow twin mother and she does specialize in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders and trauma with training from Postpartum Support International. So if any of you are looking for a therapy option in um, you are out of Colorado or Massachusetts check her out she seemed lovely I think she seemed like she's really you know offering her work with a purpose and is someone that can really help you and is certified in those ways I'm assuming she can help you through other situations and backgrounds that you have as well but she does specialize in those things so absolutely check her out and I'm so grateful she reached out and wanted me to chat about her offerings to you guys because I'm so happy to do that I am going to get the girls up right now it is three o'clock they are sound asleep because they were running around all morning having so much fun and we are going to go up the mall I got them a pair of sneakers that we need to exchange they're not the right size and at the mall there is a fun like play center that's free to just let the girls run around it's kind of rainy out today so i think we're gonna do that and then maybe grab dinner with them out so anyways good chit chat let's go get some babies up from nap you dreamed about dobby do you want dobby to come in dobby dobby i got dobby 
Good morning, Cape Cod Canal and Bridges. Are we ready for a wonderful day? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, you already have a Boston accent. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Sienna, you're funny. Hats. Hats. Beach. Yeah, hats. they do have hats on at the beach. Orange. Orange, and orange hat. hat. And what other colors? Yeah. Yellow hat. Yellow. Yellow. Orange. Orange. Wow. While we're in here, I wanted to show the girls' journals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, yeah. stunning. This little key yeah. on the side of each yeah, yeah. one. So special with this. Like, like, like. Butterfly. Butterflies are so yeah. special to us. So you can't see the color. It was very emotional when I got this. But it'll be the girls' first journals. And the same thing, the inside is just filled with Ready, the yeah, most yeah. stunning, yeah. stunning detail. And then this extra yeah. box of just keepsake paper goods and things that we can craft together. So they have no idea how special this gift is quite yet, but they will. And they are just being goofy. Renny, good sharing. Yeah, good I'm sharing, so proud of you. you made Sissy so happy. Thank you. Tickles. Are you tickling Sienna? Tickle, tickle, Sienna's still waking up. How about mommy tickles you? Oh okay. no. Open. You want to see? I'll show you. Open. 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 Yeah, we open. Look. Pictures. Yeah. Picture. Can you be gentle with the pictures? I'll let you hold one, but can you be so gentle? What is on there? Look at there's two little dogs. Whoa! <laughs> More fish. What other colors do you see?